Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Guild Wars 1 Let's Play. We are currently in Sorrow's Furnace, doing a whole bunch of little quests. Um, we have offered ourselves to the Stone Summit to basically uh, hide, for lack of a better term. So, that's what we're doing, we're hiding. So here's some dredge. We have a, we picked up a whole bunch of tasks from uh, the slave master in here. Um, oh, we can't use our weapon, just not on the dredge. Okay. We have to scout stuff while we're in here. That's what we're doing. Um, okay, so this is an interesting thing. So we have to get these frost golems and then lead them through the crushers here in order to make ice. Which, if you're thinking that's the most roundabout way to make ice probably humanly possible, you are in fact correct. That is in fact the most random way to make ice ever. Um... <laughs> there we go. Get us some ice, which looks exactly, actually, exactly like a uh, sapphires. You know, what? I'm gonna get out of this before it crushes me. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, let's go give him back his booze. I might keep one of these. I'm just going to keep one. It's just a silly little item, and I think it'd be funny to get. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Eh. You know what? I'll keep it. We'll, you know what? We'll put it on the uh, on the other character, and I'll just have it sitting in my inventory. It'll be a funny joke if people ask what it is. <laughs> You'll know because you've watched the whole series, and you're here. <laughs> There's a lot of silly items like that that just have, like, weird icons, and I'm going to be honest. I, I kind of started collecting some of them in my later years. I think the you know the very common one was a lot of people kept the teddy bears. Um, there's a couple quests that give teddy bears. All right, here you go. Here's your cold one. Ah, that hits the spot. Next time, bring me an even colder one. Okay. Works for me. Um, I think we have to go down here. For most of these quests, I believe. So, ah, I see. I don't think these gearboxes actually work right now. I think that's the point. Unless we can grab a gear from here and put it here to open it up. Yes. Okay. That's what we do. Interesting. Oh no, not another quest. For Mars Stone Roof. Oh no, things aren't running as smooth as they used to around here, but thinking maybe old Flame Whip's gone soft. What are you looking at? Gathering resource. Flame Whip said to you, does he think a favor will send a f just send me a filthy human slave? Will make yourself useful and find me ten aura ingots and be quick about it. So because this isn't uh this game doesn't have mining in it, we are instead going to um <laughs> Do this the way we know how and kill things for it. <laughs> Actually, I think we're supposed to get stuff from the ore boxes over here. Oh, these have reses. Oh, these are the guys we have to kill to get the gears. Hmm. 
Yeah, we have to kill these rebel keepers. Okay. I hope these ore ingots stack. Okay, yeah. this and put it in here? Is that what we do? That opens that up. I'm not sure if that's the way we're supposed to go. We'll see about that in a row. Second. Place the toothed cog in the cruncher's cog mouth. It's the only place the master gear won't fit. Where's the toothed cog? Oh, here's the toothed cog. It was back there on the ground. So this one should go in this gearbox right here. And yep, okay, that's that one done. So now we just gotta finish getting the ore. a door there that we need a gear for. Okay, wait. Are you using a... No, you aren't using a spear. I could have sworn he was using a spear. <laughs> that would have been interesting since spears were not out yet at the time of this, so that would have meant they'd have to uh, redo it. Alright, let's go down this way, because I presume there's a, a reason for us to go down this way. Maybe this quest fire in the hole? Yep. This area is pretty big. And it's definitely less open. I kind of feel like you're supposed to do this quest first. <laughs> it feels weird to have done this kill, this, the Kilroy Stonekin one. And have had basically free reign of the, um, the entire area. And now be on kind of a more limited path through. And either here nor there. I'll pick up a, a gear. Take it with me. Burnt corpse. Lovely. Another casual of flame digins rage. It's hard to tell what species the poor fellow was. Alright, here's the flame digin. Um, this is actually cool. This is the first time flame digin show up. Um, I thought they showed up in Nightfall. I did not realize that there was one that shows up in prophecies before we even get to nightfall. That's super cool. I don't know if maybe they changed the model on it whenever nightfall came out. I've obviously I've never actually like I never played during you know when this was brand new, so I'm not exactly sure, but that's cool. Alright. What's up? I'm not exactly sure. That's kind of green down here. What the heck? There's a little waterfall. I did not expect to see this in a place called Sorrow's Furnace. If I'm being completely honest with you. Um... Okay, that's two done. Six more iron. And I think we have to go this way to find more. It's cool that I, I like these quests where like traditional enemies become allies because it means we actually get a cool uh, an ability to look at them that we might not naturally get. Oh, that's pretty cool down here. I have a feeling this is one of the uh, things we're supposed to scout. Maybe I'm wrong about that. 
but this area is really cool. I did not expect this to be down here, and I like it. Uh, okay, this is back the way we came, so I think we should go further down first. Oh, there's some uh, Maguma jungle architecture. I wonder if there's anything in that. This is very Maguma jungly, but that specifically was a Maguma jungle res shrine, so I'm not sure if that implies that part of the jungle somehow made it over here underground. Maybe the, the ancient druids somehow got here. I don't know. It's probably just a case of a reused asset, and I'm reading way too much into that. <laughs> is what it, it is what it probably is. But you know, what you gonna do? We have to go find more iron ore. I'm not looking forward to it. We only have four pieces. We need six more. I'm not seeing any around here. More dredge down this way. So Moloch and one of the places we were supposed to scout is down this way. Interestingly enough, as I'm pretty sure you don't have to cartographer this place or vanquish it, this is actually probably one of the areas in the game you could theoretically completely miss. Like, I actually don't think you have to come down here for anything. Kill Molochev. It's interesting to see the dredge fighting each other. Oh no, they're fighting the stone summit. I really want to help the stone summit, but on the other hand, you gotta do what you gotta do. Looks like there's actually more over this way. There's even some stuff over here. Interesting. I have a feeling we'll be coming back down here for some other quests. Um, this is a pretty big area, and I would be seriously surprised if it's not used eventually for something. So I'm just going to head back and finish off uh, the quests we are currently working on instead of exploring more down here, I think is my plan. So let's do that. Let's this way. This way. <laughs> so we have one more place left to explore, and we have to find six more iron ore. I don't know why I keep pressing M. <laughs> That's not gonna help me. Dredge Manifesto Collector. I wanna check that guy out, Dredge Manifesto Collector. I wonder what he actually sells, I'm kinda curious. Not that it probably has any use to me whatsoever, but it's just, you know. I could have been talking crud about there not being rewards for doing the Sorrow's Furnace, and maybe this guy has unique weapons or something cool. 
So let's go give him the benefit of the old doubt. I already hit that ore box. I'm gonna pick up a gear just in case I need it. Can't hurt to take one with you, you know? Just in case you need it. Yeah, this guy here I think is the collector. Maktar Thought Slayer. At least I think he is. Okay, he just gives you scrolls of adventures in sight that give you XP. Okay. Uh, here's the last thing we need to look at. Where we're scouting. Furnace Guardians. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go up this way and try to find some more ore. I believe that is... Yeah, that's our last one. So we just need to get... Uh, there's two ore over there. Why do I keep hitting M? <laughs> there we go. This is actually some cool environmental storytelling because they had just warned us earlier about getting crushed by the old crushers. Oh, did they not do damage to us? I think Gwen literally just walked through one and was fine. So, <laughs> maybe they don't do damage to us. Here is a gearbox. Are these still empty? Box is empty. Okay. Oh, let's grab one of these. I think we can put it in the gearbox up there. Actually, is that where we just came from? Am I an idiot? No, that's not where we just came from. Okay, I'm not. I'm not completely <laughs> lost. Ore box. Uh, no ore boxes back here, so I presume the rest of them are further back. Maybe in the main room. <laughs> Some gear boxes. Talk to Flame Whip some more. Riches in the gears. If you don't want to taste my whip, you'll do better next time. Okay. Unruly slaves. Good job, slave. Now get back to work. Good job, slave. Now get back to work. I'll lay my whip on your hide. <laughs> Something tells me they just didn't want to write for completion dialogues. <laughs> so they're just like, ah, just have him, just have him be an ass. <laughs> I mean, he's a slave master, so I don't know what I expected him to be like, but <laughs> a little more creative than, okay, back to work, okay, back to work, okay, back to work. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more gravitas, if you will. So I need two more ore boxes. Ah, uh, here they are. Yoink. And I get from the side. Yoink. Okay. 
And then we can go turn in this final quest, I believe. Gathering resources. And I think we can go get this one. A lot of running around, but if you actually, like, you know, started there, it wouldn't be that bad. Not too bad to find all the iron ingots. I was kind of expecting to be in a nightmare situation trying to find the last one, but it wasn't too, too bad. Not too, too bad. Let's go talk to Thran Stoner Lift. Stoner Ift. It's a stoner man. There's a green glow over there. I wonder where that's from. Oh, that's cool. Things ain't rumbly as smooth as they used to be around here. I've been thinking maybe old flame whip's going soft. I suppose even a human can count to 10, eh? Tell flame whip we're even. Good work. It don't pay to harbor deaths to doors like Tharn. Now get back to work. Okay. So. I think we're good. <laughs> work fast, you get whipped. Work slow, you get whipped. You just can't win. <laughs> uh, it's good to see he still has a sense of humor. Do they close the gate behind us? No, they don't even bother to close the gate behind us. All right, Galleon. He's got a cool model. Um, face a little weird. Excellent work. This I do some ways towards compensating you for what you've been through. All right. So that was our our next adventure into the Sara's Furnace. I believe we still have one or two more to do. Let me see if I can find the quest real quick. Um, where is it? Jeez. Ah, here it is. Yeah, two more. But that's going to be the end of today's episode. I want to thank you for coming out. I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.